Hi there, this is Tina Hughes from buildawebsitetonight.com. In this quick video, I'm going to talk about the first of the 33 top website tips. Let's have a look at that first one now. For tip number one, I'd like to tell you a little bit about planning your website on paper. And what you can do is just handwrite this, or if you're good at drawing packages, you could use some kind of a flowchart software. Or another thing you could do is use a program like Word or OpenOffice, and you could create bullet lists for the different sections. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it, as long as you think about what you might want on your website. Now I've built lots of websites over the years and you can trust me on this that whatever your plan is when you first draw it that will be far from the truth when you are five years down the track with your website. So it doesn't have to be set in concrete but this is just something to give you an idea about where to start. Which pages will be sub pages from the main ones. Now on this diagram on the screen here you can see the home page is the main page and then the next layer would be each of the menu buttons. So depending on how many menu buttons you'd like on your uh, website, that could be four or eight or ten, it's entirely up to you. And so the ones underneath those are the ones that don't appear in the menu, but they're attached to the other pages. And this can, um, you know, by laying it out this way, you get a really good idea of the kinds of pages you need. One example I'm thinking of now is if you have a newsletter sign-up page, uh, you would have uh, a page hanging off the sign-up page that would be the thank you page, which wouldn't be visible to everyone, but it would only be visible to those people who have signed up for your newsletter. Then you might have another page hanging off that, which could be the sorry page. You've already signed up for this newsletter, which is quite common and also a good thing to have. Then you might have another page hanging off the newsletter page also, which isn't visible in the menu, which might have more information or a special bonus or a free gift or even a video just to thank the people for signing up. If you're going to create um, your list of pages in something like Microsoft Word or OpenOffice or even Google Docs, you can use bullet points to uh, move pages in and out of the list to show the hierarchy of how you would like them to flow. So that's a pretty good way of doing it as well. And uh, there's probably even software online now where you can create a uh, plan for your website very simply. I know there's lots of mind mapping software that is free that might also be very good. It doesn't really matter which way you decide to go when you're doing your plan, as long as you decide to do a plan. And don't worry too much over it. Don't try and work out exactly every single page. Just get the um, main button pages that you might want to have uh, attached to your home page. That's the best way to go. As long as you've got your menu items, you can always expand and change them later. And if you're using a content management system of any kind or a web builder, you'll always be able to move the pages around that are your menu buttons so you won't be locked in to anything. You will be able to change it. Okay, that's enough on this tip. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please do pop over to my website. You'll be able to pop over to the question and answers page to post your question. You can use the search box on every page to search for the page name. You can just type 33 tips and you'll be able to find it. That's it for this tip, end of tip number one. This is Tina Hughes from buildawebsitetonight.com saying cheerio for now. If you're not on the mailing list to receive the 33 tips, you can certainly sign up on my website. You can also sign up for the Your Biz Hot Tips video newsletter, which you can see here on the left of the screen. Okay, I'll be in touch again soon. That's it for now. Bye.